I have right here the new base model 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M3 chip inside, but it shipped with an old version of the operating system. That's right, as it turns out, a lot of these MacBook Pros and the iMacs with the M3 chips are shipping with an older version of the operating system. This computer has macOS Ventura 13.5 installed on it, which came out way back in July. And normally you wouldn't think anything of it, right? You go to software update and you update to the newest and latest and greatest operating system. So if you go into system settings and you go to software update, it looks like I have one software update available. However, it's just a version of Safari, just a Safari update, not Sonoma. And what I really need to do is upgrade to Sonoma 14.1. So the first thing that I tried was to go into the app store and search for Sonoma. And then here you can see Mac OS Sonoma. So normally you would just click on here and you can go ahead and click on this get button and it's going to download the software update inside these software update settings. But here we go. I got an update not found. The requested version of Mac OS is not available. Please check if your Mac is compatible with this software. Is my brand new N3 Mac compatible with the latest version of Apple's operating system? Probably. The good news is that you should be able to actually upgrade to Sonoma today, and the process is really not that difficult. So if you head on over to mrmacintosh.com, he's got a list of Sonoma installers, and these are basically the install files that your computer would download from the App Store if it was available or showing available for this computer. So right here is Sonoma version 14.1 and the installer package. It's about 11 gigabytes or so in size. And if you download that, you should be able to run the installation. And just to be sure that this is a safe link, we're going to copy the link, paste it, take a look at it. And you should be able to see all the way over here that this is an Apple website. So it's an Apple link. So it's pulling directly from Apple. So you shouldn't have to worry about anything nefarious or anything like that. These are just links to those Apple files. So I went ahead and downloaded that. So now that the installer package has finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and double click it in the downloads folder. And this should walk me through the full installation process, hopefully without any issue, fingers crossed. I'll go ahead and authenticate with my fingerprint here. And now it's installing something. So now if we go over to the applications folder, and scroll down, we should have an install macOS Sonoma. Yep, there it is right there. So install macOS Sonoma. So we'll go ahead and double tap that. Just hit continue, agree, agree, continue. And what's made to connect to a power source, but I'm probably fine. Type in your password and the installation has started. So it's now 221. Let's see how long this installation process takes and if it even works. So TBD. So just to time check, it's been about seven minutes and it's asking me to restart the Mac. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And we're back, 2.48, so about 27 minutes later. And it looks like I have upgraded to Sonoma. So let me go ahead and sign in here. So it's asking me, do I wanna keep using iCloud Drive? I do, we'll continue. And there we go. Okay, great. So I have actually upgraded this M3 MacBook Pro to Sonoma. So Sonoma 14.1. Hooray, it worked. So fantastic, it looks like it works and I had no issues and I'm installed and up and running. So if you have one of the new M3 MacBook Pros or one of the new M3 iMacs, you should be able to follow this procedure. I'll leave a link to the website down in the description below where you can go ahead and get that install assistant file to be able to do the upgrade. Or you can also just go ahead and wait a couple of days or a week or whatever, however long it takes Apple to go ahead and fix that issue with the App Store or the software update process on Mac OS. But if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't seen this video right over here, you should definitely check that out. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.